Hi, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Pharmacy channel. Today video is about the Caterpillar EMCP 4.1 and 4.2 and SEM winding diagram of Caterpillar C15 or C18 generators. We are uploaded part 1 before. If you not watch part 1, please go back watch the part 1 first and then come to watch the part 2 for the complete understanding so if you are first time on my channel please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to getting more latest update videos because I uploading on my youtube channel daily basis completely wiring and electrical diagram, wiring diagram explanation mechanical problem and solution about the all type of the generator vehicle truck bus and etc so let's get started first of all the caterpillar emcp 4.1 and 4.2 if you have a problem your generator no cranking no starting as you can see here first of all to check the sem power and grounds okay and also check the emergency push buttons wiring connection and wiring diagrams and also verify the fuel start and stop relay and also check your fuel stop and start solo night so first of all we are starting from the ACM power in grounds as you can see here pin 48 pin 52 and pin 53 this is the ACM power input okay which is directly coming from the battery as you can see here this is our the relay boxes this positive is coming from the SR slave relay pin 30 and pin 87 as you can see here this battery positive wire D plus is directly coming from the fuse relay box and going to the ECM so this is the connection of the battery positive now let's explain the ACM negative input supply because if our ACM is not energized ACM not working and generator will never start the causes of ACM power and ground is missed so as you can see here now we are going to follow the battery negative and negative input of the ACM control as you can see here pin 61 pin 63 and pin 65 this is the battery negative input of the ACM okay first of all verify the ACM power in ground and then move forward now let's check this all relay input and output supplies as you can see here we have eight relay relay number one two three four and an order engine crank fuel control ASR control ASR mean as a air shut off solenoid okay as you can see here shut off solenoid relay if you are going to follow all the wiring check as you can see the starting circuit of the as you can see this orange wire is going to the generator connected 70 way and started to the pin 30 wire number 34 pin 49 and going then out from the emergency switch and see then and uh, to the another NC and then out from the NC going to the starter motor solenoid S terminal. Starter motor solenoid provided to the S terminal. Okay, this is all the relay box of the starting circuit. And the another side, as you can see here, the red wire, wire number 55. As you can see, this is all fitted to all relay. This is the battery directly positive, fitted to the all relay and also fitted to the fuel and also to the start relay so as you can see here this is the generator connector 70 way as you can see here inserted to pin wire 55 and to the uh, as you can see here as we have the start relay pin 86 and pin 85 pin 85 is ground and pin 86 has a battery positive signal of the EMCP 4.1 and 4.2 controller to energize the relay and engine is goes to start and cranking over this is the starting 
circuitry. No, let's move forward to check another relay output and also check the generator input supply, AC supply and also the current transformer and also check out the all the relay pin out and pin in. This is the another sections as you can see here the emergency stop, remote start and also the sensor wirings, pin outs as you can see air shut off and either start as you can see here is all the pin out from the EMCP 4.1 and 4.2 control panel as you can see here so let's explain pin 70 is a emergency stop out negative input and then pins 55 this is the remote remote start pins 50 wire number 57 orange one and then low coolant level pin 54 and also fuel leak pin 53 and also earth fault pin 45 and also low fuel level pin 44 going to and wire 72 and also the progress input 5 and progress input 6 okay that's progress means that the programmable okay so let's move forward oil pressure phase and allow plus pin 56 and also emergency uh, engine temperature phase analog input and oil and also the phase analog input and also oil pressure phase analog input one and also engine temperature phase it phase analog and oil temperature phase analog input so let's move forward to check uh, the ac inputs as you can see here this is the generators uh, can uh, can service connectors wiring and also the local annunciators as you can see here a battery negative positive nc can 2 srn and can negative and can positive as you can see here now move forward to check and explain the as you can see here this is the generator four port breaker or power terminal strip ets optional this is the current transformer wiring as you can see here pin 31 uh, and pin 40 47 and then also here is the generator three phase neutral input supply to the emcp controller from the alternator as you can see here we will line 1 line 2 and line 3 will a b and c so as you can see the in others we have three fuses here inside f1 f2 f3 two ampere fuses and t1 and two t2 and t3 also okay as you can see there is the coming voltages from the generators alternators okay this is the as you can see here is the MPU magnetic pickup unit generator 70 pin connector coming pin 31 pin 32 and pin 33 is a shield wire and pin 20 wire number 21 and 22 is going to the into the EMCP okay as you can see the magnetic pickup unit also pin 60 and pin 65 is a battery negative output to the EMCP controller and also pin 60 so as you can see here we have 12 6 95 96 and 30 to the 12 22 and 23 understand this is the complete wiring explanation of the caterpillar EMCP 4.1 4.2 if you have further any question please write comment below and comment section i will provide it you for you the complete wiring diagram manual pdf for the complete understanding so i hope to watching the complete videos part number two thanks for watching my videos see you all next time goodbye don't forget to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell notification to more let's update videos See you in the next video. See you all next time. Goodbye.